Hey guys, my name is Aaron. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I clean and waterproof the top of my Porsche Boxster. Now, of course, the same technique would be for any cloth convertible. I saw somebody else use these same products in another video somewhere a while ago. I can't remember where. I went back to look and I couldn't find it anywhere, so I figured I would make a DIY video for this. If you find it helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will put a link to the products in the description below so you can find them easily and a music-free guarantee. No crappy-ass music throughout my videos. So a year ago now, I bought these 303 products. The one on the left here is to clean. The one on the right here is to protect, to help repel water. If you deal with outdoor fabrics a lot, you have probably heard of Sunbrella, and this is recommended by them. And this little kit is super handy. It comes with a little roller, and it had two applicators. So I used one of the applicators the first time, and I'll use the second one here. And it comes packaged in an actual tray you can use for the roller. Oh, and almost forgot I will be using a horsehair brush to do the cleaning. You want something soft like this, it's not going to damage your fabric top. All right, first things first, this is the condition of our top right now. You can see that there are some shiny marks and stuff on it. And actually, if you look close, there is a ton of lint on mine because if you haven't seen the video of the worst paint job ever when the guy painted it i'm pretty sure that he just used some kind of rag to try to wipe off all of the wax splatter that he got on here and it left a ton of lint from his rag so i'm gonna just start off with a good old-fashioned lint roller and yeah that's working well so i'm just gonna lint roll this whole top and get as much of this stuff off as I can. After just a few minutes with the lint roller, you can see the difference. Man, I am really impressed by this thing. I'll put a link to uh, one of these in the description too, I guess. So if you have lint and stuff on yours, this really pulled it out really, really well. Here's what our lint roller looks like now. Next thing I wanna do is I'm really curious as to how this has held up for over a year. Now, mind you, six months of that year, this vehicle was parked outside. So, yeah. that's not bad for after a year. I would say that uh, it definitely is ready to be reapplied because you can see it's soaking in and standing where I have a lot of this water but uh, not bad for a year. Next thing I'm gonna do is get the whole top wet and I'm gonna apply a little bit of pressure here to wash off any uh, loose dirt on there and contaminants, bird crap, etc. I know there's some over there that I'll get to. So with the top still wet, I'm gonna take some of the convertible top cleaner and spray it on just a small area right here. Then take my brush and I'm just going to kind of agitate it. I'm not going to be scrubbing. You don't want to damage the top. The less you can touch it, the better. But you do have to get some of the particles out and especially on the seams. Just gently work them. Careful around your plastic. A little hatch pattern. That should be plenty. And then rinse it off before all of that dries back in. Use a little pressure. Make sure you get it all out. And then just continue on to another little section. Rinse and repeat until you get the whole thing clean. 
All right, I just got done washing the top right here. As you can see, it is nice and wet. Uh, one thing I just thought of that I wanted to make sure to point out was that if you have not seen my videos on making sure that the drains are cleaned out down here, you definitely want to do that. I'll put a link up here. You wanna make sure that they are clean before you do this process because you're gonna be putting a lot of water on here and it's all gonna be going down into here where you should have a drain that is helping drain it out. If that drain is not cleaned out, it's gonna be filling up your car and you're not gonna want that. So this is what I have after cleaning it. I have a little uh, imperfection here. So for me, I had a little piece of bird crap right around here somewhere that came off really easily. But if you have a stubborn stain somewhere, you can spray this stuff on for 10 or 15 minutes and just let it soak in before you gently brush it to remove it. So the next step is just gonna be to let it dry in the sun. So I'll be back in a few minutes. After we give it some time to dry, it is looking really nice and clean. Now to protect it. All right, back to our roller kit here. We're just gonna open the lid and put the roller on our brush. I unscrewed the lid from here because I am not going to spray this stuff on. I am gonna roll it on. So I'm gonna put some in the tray. According to the bottle, this is very flammable, so do not smoke around it. Also, you do not want this stuff to get on the paint or on the plastic here. So I got a rag handy in case any of it drips and I will wipe it off immediately. So I'm just gonna set this up here so that I can demonstrate this and record it at the same time. But essentially I'm just gonna get my roller saturated and I'm gonna let it drip off because I do not want it to run everywhere when I do this. So I'm just going to start down here and roll it on, get all the way up to the seam. Get on the seam, you can see if you press too hard or if you have too much on here, it will start dripping. As long as it's not running, it's fine. I'm just gonna get all the way up to the seam Cover the seam and not let it get on the plastic. So I'm just gonna continue this all the way around, making sure that the seams in the middle get a nice heavy coating. And I'm just gonna work my way slowly all the way around the top like this. Now, I will just mention while I'm applying this that the dry time is 12 to 24 hours is what you want to give this stuff before you get it wet or close your top or drive it around. So after applying it, I'm gonna stick it back in the garage overnight and by tomorrow, it should be good to go. And that's it, I just pulled it into the garage to let it dry overnight. And tomorrow I can try to uh, put a little water on it and see how it, well it beads. Just pulled the Boxster back out of the garage after being in there for almost 24 hours. And now we're gonna repeat our test. So let's find out how it does now. Oh yeah. That is much better. All right, so I'm gonna start doing this every six months and looks like I missed a little spot right there. So that's what it will look like. So I'm gonna go back and reapply a little bit right there as soon as that dries. But now I can do this. Hopefully you guys have found this helpful. And if you have not seen, this is my new t-shirt that I made. I really like it. Great comfortable material for working on the car. If you work on your car all the time and would like one of these t-shirts, I've found some interest in it. I'm trying to get together a group buy to make it reasonably priced. So if you have any interest in one of these, please go to my Instagram page at TTGator and private message me. And when we get enough people, I'll order some. If you're watching this video a couple of years into the future and I have over 5,000 subscribers or something, I'm sure there will be another way to order it. But unfortunately I can't go back and edit a YouTube video. So I'm sure you will figure out 
out if these shirts still exist.